Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I'm giving a review of a coffee table art book called Cult Movie Art 2. So this book is a follow-up to the first volume that they did, which contained a conglomerate of all sorts of art based on cult movies. This book continues that, and we have art from movies like Scott Pilgrim, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, uh, all sorts of things, Ghostbusters. There really isn't anything animation in this, but it's okay. This is a book that you can flip through in five minutes. You can look at the art and it'll be pretty, it's nice. Uh, some of these movies I hadn't seen before, a lot of them are rated R and I don't watch rated R movies, so I couldn't really relate to some of them, but I think if you are a fan of cult movies, especially from the 80s and 90s, then this will definitely be something that you're interested in. So the art comes from all sorts of different artists. All the art is different, all different art styles and whatnot, but collectively, the art wasn't my thing. It wasn't really my style. It was a bit more abstract and modern and just didn't really resonate with me. So when I was looking through this book, I was like, meh, meh, meh. I'm more of the, you know, Disney fan art. <laughs> Here's an example of, you know, some, some different types of art that you're going to see through the book. Uh, definitely more modern right here, minimalist. Um, you know, Marty McFly, gotta love it. Back to the Future, lots of Back to the Future art, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it just, it just depends on what it is. But personally for me, I don't really need to own this book and it wasn't really my favorite. But if you like cult movie art, be sure to check it out. You might like it, but for me, it just wasn't my thing. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more art book reviews. We're going to be bringing you a lot in the future. So again, my name is Morgan Stradling. This is my review of this book. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Next time without the cover. It's beautiful. It's link green. Are you kidding me? So the Hyrule Historia is really fantastic. It contains art from 25 years of no Zelda queen. games. Our snowflakes and ice, they're totally awesome. And one page that I thought was really interesting was this one. Um, hello, black-haired Elsa. What happened?